All right, I'm going to answer another viewer question. Um, this one's going to be on um, meta packages. So we open Synaptic here. If you want to do from the GUI, you can use Synaptic. Uh, but if you don't know what a meta package is, it's basically a fake package that installs other packages that you assign to it. Um, it's mainly used for convenience, right? Let's say you want this person to install like a thousand other packages. Instead of telling you know them to do manually, uh, you know to get a thousand other packages, you can just tell them install this package, and it will go out and install the other ones. Um, so that's that's how it works. Kind of like a shopping list. You know you have one list, and in that list it'll tell you all the other stuff that you need in the item. Um, which I talked about in the past, but this one's like a little a different situation. Um, and this one they're talking about the Ubuntu restricted extras alright which I don't have installed but usually you know you would try to uninstall it right you know removal or complete removal um, but this one you know this dummy package here is um, a little bit different when you uninstall it it's not gonna uninstall all the other ones uh, within that list alright uh, but you can actually go in there and look at it manually yourself so you go to properties and you go to dependencies and you can see that it's going to install uh, this one for sure because it says dependencies recommendations here it depends how you set up your package manager but I'm pretty sure they install these stuff also right um, and all you gotta do is look for them one by one and uh, you know remove them okay also in here you know the one that it depends on uh, those ones might have you know their own recommendation or dependencies of, of themselves so you might have to look at the dependencies and follow those one also so this one says depends on uh, Ubuntu restricted add-ons so if we go to you know the Ubuntu restricted add-ons and you go to properties and you can see that this one installs these crap also so you might have to manually search for these ones um, let's say for example we have um, what is this Adobe Flash or something like that? Well, we'll type in Flash, right? And uh, we'll try to remove it or something. We'll check for the ones that's installed in our system. And yeah, I don't have any of those installed, but you know, if, if there was, let's see, what's that one? Flash plugin, I think it was called. Yeah, if if there was like a Flash install, or whatever, you just go and you know remove it. And basically, that's how you would do it. I I really don't like doing it from the GUI here because it will take really long. Because you have to type out manually yourself, and you have to look back and forth. Uh, and they don't even let you like copy from it. You know, like if there's a dependency, you can't even copy from it. Um, and there's really no one command to remove it all. But if you want to do this from the terminal, um, we're gonna use aptitude for this. But you know, you go aptitude um, search. You know, let's say for example you um you know looking for was it the Ubuntu restricted extras or something like that? Let's spell extras, there you go. Right, and you see that this one is not installed or anything, but um you know if you want to look at the dependencies like we did before you can go aptitude um, show and it'll show you you know the description of it and you can see the same stuff but it's much quicker and it, you can actually highlight from it so you see the dependencies that we saw earlier right you can actually highlight from it same thing with the recommendations highlight from it and then you can go you know same thing with the search before and all you gotta do is paste it down really quick so we can just search oh is this someone installed or not and you can see if uh, you know it's not installed and, and you can do the same stuff for um, what is it the show here what is that one All right and then you can check it one if it has um, recommendations or whatever and you can actually search for these um, with the aptitude search All right and then you search for it and if you see if it's installed or something like that like I said let's say this one all you gotta do is um what's that pseudo aptitude uh you can purge it you know and then paste that in and purge it 
which I'm not gonna do but um, that's how you would uh, remove stuff or you can just type in remove if you want you don't want to use purge right that's basically the, that's how I would uh, remove um, you know the meta package if it doesn't do it like the way that you would think or they don't actually have an option to, for you to do that I, I don't believe but uh, you can actually manually do it yourself based on all, all the information that they give you all right but just make sure you know what exactly is you're removing you know some of these you might need like flash or some G streamer crap that you need or maybe some uh, uh, ice tea or some Java stuff for maybe uh, you know the web page or whatever uh, so that's how you do from the GUI or the command line it's up to you how you do it alright that'd be it for this one